Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to include the Tappet plugin into a PhoneGap project. We start off uh, with a simple PhoneGap project here. Uh, what you need for to import Tappet plugin, uh, as is the case with all the plugins, is the Java source code. Here it is, Tappet Android to Java. Uh, the J the JavaScript file which is used. So we begin off uh, with including the Java source into a project. Um, here is a project, demo tap it. No? Um, go to the src folder, no. uh, tap it android in this directory, uh, copy your source code uh, java uh, source. Um, we also need to include uh, the jar source uh, for the plugin which is available on github for both android and ios. So We need to copy that over into a libs folder that's where all the library source is going to so you can either do it in eclipse or you can go to the directory in windows explorer and do that okay. um, um, now we need to include the javascript source file as well which communicates with the, the java source code uh, you can add it into www folder is where all of our code goes right? So we add it here. Now we need. Uh, we're going to make changes to HTML file. Uh, I've already uh, you know, coded a, a bit of demos for you. So we simply copy that over here. Uh, now um, here's the JS file that we just included. This communicates with the Java source code. You can just refresh it. the android uh, java file for the plugin uh, with phone gap we need to <coughs> include a plugin uh, in the plugins uh, config.xml now earlier called as plugins.xml so we'll simply create our own plugin no? just add it center here if, if you don't do it here uh, your plugin call won't work right? Uh, also, tap it uh, requires uh, a view to be added uh, to your to a layout, to a native Android layout that you have. Uh, in order to do that, we'll need to m um, make some additions to activity. Right here. Uh, underneath your on create method uh, in your main activity, simply copy this uh, this uh, this method. Need to call it after your uh, after your load url method this sets up uh, the view in which all the ads will be rendered right? so this is a native view this is not a not a phone gap uh, or html view this is a native view okay uh, i guess we're done with it here uh, as i earlier told you that uh, you know it's it's a separate activity that's that's really added uh, to the main activity to render all the ads, we need to add it to the manifest as well as you would know that all of the activities need to be registered um, in the manifest file. Um, I'll you know, collect all the stuff earlier, um, so it's easy uh, to simply add it here for the, for the purpose of this video. Okay. Uh, now calling the video. Uh, the five types of ads mainly um, in tap it video full screen interstitial wall and alert tag uh, calling a phone gap plugin uh, is you know really simple uh, if uh, you you guys have earlier done it um, it's window dot plugins dot your plugin name the method name that you want to call in our case there are five methods that we have add video add full screen add interstitial add offer wall and alert ad uh, you need to pass the success callback. This is the success callback here. The error callback plus the zone ID. Tap it gives you a zone ID for all of your ads. So if you want to pass in different zone IDs for different type of ads, um, you can do that as well. Third parameter here is uh, uh, is the zone ID actually. So uh, I guess it's it. Now we can run it simply, and it will launch. Take a bit of time to launch. So 
we'll get back to it when it's done. Hi guys, um, we're back here with the uh, with this simulator. Now remember that uh, you know things would work uh, in simulator and mainly because of uh, the geolocation and carrier stuff that uh, that which is into the uh, added into the the main uh, tap it uh, s um, you know uh, ads so uh, for the purpose of security. Uh, when you click on video ad, it will take to uh, to the to the activity video activity and show the video. Same is the case with full screen ad. We're not uh, getting ads here because I mean it's an uh, it's a simulator and uh, there are some issues with running this piece of code in simulator. When you run it on a device, uh, you, you you'll get those ads. So I guess that's it. Pretty simple steps here, you know. Adding the source code, um, adding the jar file to the lips folder, uh, adding the JavaScript source here. Um, Making the entry for the plugin in config.xml. I mean, this has been introduced in Cordova 2.0. If you're using an earlier version of PhoneGap, uh, you would get plugins.xml where you can add this. Need to add the activity. Uh, and one more thing, uh, in your main activity, uh, which extends to gap, phone gap, um, you need to add this method underneath uh, onCade method and call it after load URL. So that's it for uh, Thank you.